What's up, guys? I'm so excited to be bringing another devotional on Friday. Shout out to Fridays. Um, I'm really excited about what I want to talk about today. And it's this idea for love inspires us to act, right? Love in- inspires us to act. And, you know, for me personally, I remember being a kid, and even as an adult, one of the things I hate doing is chores. And I know for, you know, FSM, JHM, HSM students, um, some of us just hate chores. Now, whether it's throwing out the trash, if you got animals, ain't nobody like picking up dog poop, um, cleaning our rooms, scrubbing the toilet, whatever the case may be. And right now we're in a season where a lot of us, we are just at home and um, there's still chores to be done and maybe we're doing more than what we used to do and some of us are maybe getting a little anxious and just kind of annoyed with that idea of having to do chores constantly and I know that was me and it's still me today but I share this story and I share these words with you because I want you to really ponder this question does serving others feel like a chore to you Does serving others feel like a chore to you? Now, in your family, there's people you're serving, whether it's your mom, your dad, your grandparents, your brother, your sister, whoever it is. Does it seem like more of a burden than a blessing? Do you feel irritated or frustrated when your family wants you to do something, whether it's to clean the toilet, um, throw out the trash, to just clean your room, to go grocery shopping with them in this season? Like, does it seem more of a burden than it is a blessing? You know, because when it comes to serving others, um, sometimes it feels as if we have to do it rather than we get to do it. But I want to really challenge us today that it is so important to serve others, that it is so important to love people, that it is so important to help out around the house during this season. This is a great opportunity um, to really serve your parents, to serve your siblings, to serve your dog, um, to really serve your household and understand that, yeah, you may not be able to go do things right now but there's a lot of work to be done at home and this is just a great a great opportunity and one of the verses that stands out to me is this it's Isaiah chapter 1 verses 17 Isaiah 1 17 and I'm actually reading the NLT version because I just really like how the version um, says it in this and it says this learn to do good seek justice help the oppressed defend the cause of orphans fight for the rights of widows See, this verse gives us a great picture of what God cares about and how he looks at our hearts. See, these are the things that are important to him, that we are following God's plan for our life and serving is that component. Serving has always been a part of God's plan for our life. Now, I love this because it breaks it down and learn to do good. This is a season to learn to do good. Some of us have probably had the worst attitude when it comes to the situation we're in. But I feel like this season is an opportunity to learn to do good and to really serve together, to serve your household. And it teaches us that love inspires us to act. And and that's the big takeaway today is that love inspires us to act. See, when you love, you feel prompt, you feel motivated to act and serve your family members, um, to to reach out to your friends via text or FaceTime, to even maybe reach out to your teachers and let them know, hey, I, I, I really miss being around. I really wish we were in school. I really wish I could learn in person. But I really want to encourage you guys today, whether you're if you're a student or a parent. Love inspires us to act. And what is that thing that God wants you to act on today? What is that thing that God wants you to do today that shows the love of Christ? I know for me, it's simple, just a couple phone calls to a couple family members I haven't talked to for a while. That is the love that I feel like God is saying, you need to act upon that. So I wanna challenge us, let's do something out of love. Let's act in love. Let's show the love of Christ and let's share it with others. Let's encourage others to be inspired with the, with the love that Jesus gives us. But I want you to know here at Purpose, we love you. Pastor Eric, myself, Courtney, Laura, we just miss seeing you students, families. We miss seeing you. We know that this season may be tough for, for some, but we want you to know that we are, we are unified, that we are together, that we are better together, and that God is going to get us through this storm. But I'm going to pray for us, and then I want to encourage you, encourage you guys. Act out in love today. Let me pray. Dear God, we thank you for your day. Father, we thank you for who you are. We thank you for your grace and your mercy. Father, thank you for this scripture. God, it it just reminds us that you've called us to serve. So Lord, I wanna pray for students today. I wanna pray that they serve their parents well, God, Lord, that whatever the simple task is, Lord, that they do it with with just a smile on their face and a heart just so pure. Lord, I wanna pray for parents as well. 
Lord, as they're serving their children and their spouses in their household, God, Lord, I pray that you continue to just prompt them with love, that you that you give them strength during this storm, God. But Lord, we just love you so much. We thank you for who you are. And we know you have great and mighty things ahead of us, ahead of this, Jesus. So Lord, we thank you for this time. It's in Jesus' name. Everybody says, amen. Amen, guys. Well, we love you guys. We miss you. And we will see you on Purpose Students live on Wednesday. See you guys. God bless.